Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play this very awesome song, very famous song from ABBA called Dancing Queen. It's really awesome, I'll be teaching you two sections of this. It's pretty much the main section. Okay, so here we go. So I'll give you a preview, it goes like this. And then afterwards, obviously, the two sections, you can actually, like, obviously make it more, like, groovy by adding, like, patterns. You can be, like... Yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and learn the melody and chords first because that's the foundation to all songs and from that you can add all this extra stuff to it. So here we go. First section first, the instrumental section goes like this. Right hand, break it up into two parts is easy to learn. So first part goes C sharp, B, D, C sharp, B, A, B, C sharp, C sharp. And then up to A, A, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp. That's it for the right hand for this first part. Okay, let's do it again. So it goes like this. C sharp, B, D, C sharp, B, A, B, C sharp, C sharp, up to A, A, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, and that's it for the right hand. Once you get the right hand there, left hand we have four chords here. The four chords are just alternating between two chords. This first one is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. Second chord is second inversion of D major, which is A, D, F sharp. Third chord back to A major, and fourth chord back to the second inversion of Okay, so with these four chords in mind, the two ends together goes like this, a C sharp and A major together. D and the next chord together. A, B and A major together. Second G sharp and the next chord together. Like that. All right, one more time, it goes like this, it goes together. Two, three, together. Moving on to the second part, right hand continues, goes C sharp, B, D, C sharp, B, A, B, C sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, B, A, and that's it for the right hand. Alright, one more time, let's go C sharp, B, D, C sharp, B, A, B, C sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, B, A, and that's it for the right hand. Once you get the right hand there, left hand we have four chords here, the four chords are, this time is a bit different, the first two chords are the same, it's A major, A, C sharp, E, second chord, second inversion of um, D major once again, which is A, D, F sharp, third chord to A major, and then the fourth chord changes to F sharp minor this time, which is F sharp, A, C sharp. Alright, so with these four chords in mind, so A major, second inversion, D major, A major, and F sharp minor. So you can do that F sharp minor up here, because down here is a little bit too muddy, okay? So it doesn't matter, depending on what you like, it doesn't matter, it's still F sharp minor, okay? So yeah, with these four chords in mind, two hands together, goes like this, so it goes together, two, three, four, together, two, three, together, and C sharp and F sharp minor together, like that. The last three notes that you can see on the right hand is like fast, like, a duh, like that. It's kind of like a run. Okay, one more time, let's go together. One, two, three, four, together, two, three, together, together. That's it. So back to back, the two parts here will be played like this. Check it out. to the other section now, okay, the you can dance part, okay, dancing queen part. Okay, right hand starts on the high C sharp here, so middle C, C, another C, C sharp right here. So it goes C sharp, B, B, 
C sharp, B, B, C sharp, A, B, G sharp, A, B, G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, up to C sharp, B, A. That's it for the right hand. Okay, and a lot more stuff happening here, so let's do it again. So it goes C sharp, B, B, C sharp, B, B, C sharp, A, B, G sharp, A, B, G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, up to C sharp, B, A. And that's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are E major, E, G sharp, B. Second chord, C sharp major, which is C sharp, F, G sharp. Third chord, F sharp minor, which is F sharp, A, C sharp. And fourth chord is first inversion of B major, which is D sharp, F sharp, B. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so E major, C sharp major, F sharp minor, and first inversion, B major. Okay, with that in mind, the two hands together goes like this, C sharp and E major together. C sharp and C sharp major together. F sharp minor together. A and first inversion together. Like that. Just like that, one more time. It goes like this. It goes together. 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 Like that. Moving on to the second part of this uh, section. Right hand continues. goes G sharp, A, A. G sharp, A, A. B, A. G sharp, G sharp, A, A. And then A again, twice, and then two G sharps, and two F sharps. It's kind of like that bit in the um, first section that we learned. Okay? Yeah. Right, one more time, it goes like this it goes G sharp, A, A, G sharp, A, A, B, A, G sharp, G sharp, A, A, and then A, A, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp. And that's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, four chords here, the four chords are D major, D, F sharp, A. Second chord is B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. Third chord A major, which is A C sharp E, and then the fourth chord, the second inversion of D major, which is A D F sharp. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, it's so a D major, B minor, A major, and then the second inversion D major. With that in mind, the two hands together goes like this: G sharp and D major together. G sharp and B minor together. Second G sharp and A major together. Together, like that. Just like that. One more time. It goes like this: it goes together. So back to back the two parts of this particular section where we play like this. Check it out. Alright, so that's that. So once you get both of these sections good, all the melody, chords, all the notes and rhythm correct, then you can start to think of other improvisation and decoration patterns to put into it to make it a lot more awesome. <coughs> okay, so what you can do is, um, yeah, left hand you can like afterwards for the chords you can add more like octave and arpeggio patterns and rhythmic patterns. Right hand you can harmonize it based on the chords too, so you can be like something like this. stuff okay so yeah that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed this lesson if you did make sure to check out the rest of my channel check out my other abba piano tutorials as well i literally um have like multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from if you like these step-by-step -step lessons so make sure to check it out because most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel but anyway also check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music play and sing and a lot of other cool stuff so make sure to check it out and as for now that's pretty much it enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time thanks for watching for those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear grab the free preview of my book or just visit my website bestpianomethod.com for all my other piano mastery courses sheet music song requests and services all the links are in the description below see you next time